Oxford United took a two-goal lead to Plymouth, but that was gone by half-time. Strikes from Wilson and Logan turned the cup tie upside down, and it was 2-0 to Argyle at half-time. And then Logan, who scored an own goal at the Manor two weeks ago, knocked in number two. So it was all square at the start of the second half. Only for a few seconds, though, Dave Smith headed a peach of an own goal, and suddenly the Yellows were up against it. Not for long, though. How's this for a comeback? From kickoff to the back of the net, it was just ten seconds. Joey Beecham exploding at 25 yards. A minute later, United were back in front on aggregate and more or less back in control, thanks to a goal from Nigel Jensen. There was still a battle to be won, though. Plymouth still had to be killed off. Defender Darren Purse joined in the attack to make it 3-0. United were just about home and dry then, but just to make sure, they banged in two more. Matt Murphy made it 4-3. With just a couple of minutes to go, Beecham went racing through for number five. And at 7-3 on aggregate, the Yellows had themselves a handsome win. They were a goal adrift after only four minutes at Portsmouth, thanks to Aussie John Aloisi. There was a comeback for the Yellows and a great little goal just before half-time when Bobby Ford walked the ball in. Start of the second half, Darren Purse walked off to a red card. And it was Portsmouth racing to victory. Svensson got their winner, and hopefully the United defence got a talking to. It's four defeats in five now for Oxford. Time almost to sound the alarm bells. But the Yellows must have thought their luck was about to change when Mark Angel smashed them into the lead at Sunderland. Three goals in nine minutes changed everything and sent United crashing. First, Phillips made it one all. Sunderland charged, Oxford sounded the retreat and suffered the cruelest of blows when Joey Beecham got in the way of a shot and sent it spinning past Whitehead. That was a minute before the break. Couldn't have come at a worse time. But at the start of the second half, Oxford were out for the count. Former United defender Andy Melville.